Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to examine the ups and downs of energy drinks. Look, it was one of those credos when you were in college and you were trying to bust through your exams that you needed memory, concentration, focus, all of that. And some of that came with different amounts of caffeine. Nowadays, the kids are having energy drinks which have a combination of caffeine, sugars, and stimulants like guarana, taurine, L-carnitine, and other things. While they can help you to focus and keep you from sleeping, they also have some harmful side effects. And the idea is to know about all of this stuff before you take this on. So welcome to the channel and let's explore. Hey guys, Dr. Nene here. I practice as a cardiothoracic, vascular, and general surgeon, and I'm now a health tech innovator who wants to improve lifespans and lifestyles. So stay healthy, stay curious, and keep watching. Today we're talking about the ups and downs of caffeine in essence, but caffeine added to high amounts of sugar along with a whole bevy of different herbs and spices. Welcome to the world of energy drinks. Every single one of us has used some sort of stimulant in their life to maintain your level of focus. And nowadays it seems that energy drinks are the hip thing to do. The Drinks themselves have high levels of caffeine and can vary anywhere from 80 milligrams to almost 200 milligrams in a single drink. The interesting part is the maximum amount they recommend is 400 milligrams in any given day of caffeine. Now, how does that compare to a cup of coffee? Well, coffee or tea uh, can range from 80 to about 160 milligrams. And so if you're drinking multiple cups of coffee, it's no different. The only additional part with the energy drinks though is that they often couple them with a huge amount of sugar and so you get a sugar rush and a caffeine boost and then in addition add a few other additives like taurine, essential amino acids, this, that and the other. So from the onset, they have been shown to improve concentration, um, memory and when used to keep you awake, they certainly work. Long distance truck drivers, others have used them. The downside though, is that with that much caffeine on board, you can precipitate palpitations or irregular heartbeats, as well as increase blood pressure and do other things. Added to that, the amount of sugar that these things contain, and it can be anywhere from nine teaspoons to 17 teaspoons, almost like a regular Coke, uh, can be excessive and can also lead along with the caffeine to jitters, sleep disorders, and obviously dental issues, uh, metabolic syndromes, obesity, and diabetes. If you take that out and you say, okay, what about a sugar-free uh, energy drink? Um, that could help potentially, and maybe once in a while, maybe in addition to your repertoire, drinking different types of caffeinated beverages. But the idea is that it doesn't always prove to be the best way to handle things because it gives you these huge ups and downs. And secondly, it's been seen in kids and teenagers in schools drinking these things to keep up with tests and college students and other things. There may be better ways around it. But let's face the facts. Sometimes you do need to stay awake. I think in summary, don't go overboard with these high energy drinks because they do have a negative side to it. You can choose to sip on some natural compounds like coffee or tea, or things which don't have a boatload of sugar in them. Um, you certainly have to stay hydrated. And then the idea is to you know, live a little more natural in that you plan your sleep and study routines so that you don't get into these kinds of troubles. Um, so there you have it. This is about energy drinks and the types of things that I think about, don't get me wrong, we've all had some type of stimulant, uh, whether it be tea, coffee, or energy drinks in our lives to keep up, just to maintain um, constant flow and work. But at the same time, they come with some bad side effects. I hope this has covered it. If you have any questions, you let me know. Um, as usual, if you like it, hit the like button, share it with your friends, and hit the bell icon. And ultimately, um, what I want to do is stitch together a narrative so that you guys will ask the questions. So leave your comments below. And as always, I'll have the references in my description. So thank you for joining us and I hope to see you next time.